Hi Libras, hope you're doing well today. Thanks for stopping by. Well, let's see what your message is for today. Ooh. There could be an intimate conversation coming up without conflict, but we'll see. Yeah, looks like some long-awaited truth is about to be exposed. And uh, looks like uh, there will be, you know, patience between you and this person as you have an intimate, serious conversation. Okay. This is somebody who's been um, emotionally codependent on you. They're clingy, and they need to, uh, you know, I think it's been their MO that they use people or feel that they need other people to make them happy. And they, this person is someone who you have made happy, and they feel like possibly they want you to continue to make them happy. But you, you're making uh, fresh plans with a new person, <clears throat> are going to be. Mm -hmm. You're kind of looking beyond this relationship. But this is someone who has codependent energy and they could, you know, hang on to you very tightly. And not want to let you go. This conversation may be about, you know, how you are moving on. Yes, because you have an offer coming in. Now, and it has something to do with this conversation. Um, they may make you another offer. I'd like to say this is a new person coming in with an offer, but it didn't land in that position. I think it's the old person wants to rejuvenate something or change their mind uh, under different conditions or something. A lot of you may be thinking of changing your look or your style. For some reason. Let's see. Let's keep going. Yeah, because, you know, a lot of you are, are, are sexier than you think or have thought. You know, you might have been feeling a little down on yourself. Uh, and now maybe a lot of you are getting into changing your appearance or, and uh, feeling more sexy because, y y yeah, you're, you're sexier than you think, male or female. Have a little confidence. Yeah, someone at work likes you, or in a space where you're with people uh, doing your thing, whatever that may be. So that's who likes you, somebody at work. And I see you making new plans with this person. Or thinking about it anyway. Yeah, because that next time you probably are examining uh, any new prospect pretty thoroughly, because uh, you're looking to have your needs met this time. The next time around, you're going to uh, do a better job <clears throat> and uh, try and find someone who fills your requirements. Let's say. Just stay consistent, have no fear. There's only one thing you can really depend on in life and that's change. Things change. It, things may change a little for you a little slower than most would like. Patience is, is a virtual virtue for sure. Nobody likes waiting for things though. 
it's uh, it's going to be important that you don't get stuck in some mental trap. You want to keep uh, an open mind to things. Don't get real opinionated and uh, adhere to not wanting to, you know, be vulnerable. You have to be somewhat vulnerable in order to connect with someone. You don't just throw your heart out there. Uh, but you have to give, give, you know. You have to show some emotion or some understanding or some concern. All right. Yeah, this this person that uh, is, feels codependent on you, they, they also feel like they lost a really good opportunity with you. So they're, <clears throat> they're um, having an, an emotional time of it. Missed a good opportunity with Libra. Yeah. You're looking to have your needs met this time or next time. And uh, you're just dreaming of a more exciting and abundant life. Obviously this, or what you're going through now, or whatever is, is uh, just doesn't seem like enough for you. You want more. Yeah, someone's fantasizing about you. Now, it could be the new person, a new person, or it could be the past person. That's what people do, you know. If you're attracted to some someone, you start fantasizing about them. What it would be like to be with them? What it would be like to, you know, be sexual with them? Whatever, too. Um, someone's doing that about you, fantasizing about you. A lot of you might, might have been hurt by a person even before this, or, or this person, but you're hurt. You might, might have been hurt more than once, but apparently this person hurt you. Some truth is going to come out about this relationship. Oh, you might have hurt, been hurt so deeply that you had to go through a dark night of the soul. Not everyone, but possibly a lot of you might have uh, cried, had to gone over your, your own past life, really went deep and, and uh, connected with your higher power. Um, yeah, that's... Uh, pretty critical business when you get hurt that way. Feels like your heart's just been ripped out. This is such a funny deck. These cards are really thin and plasticky. I got them down in Mexico last winter. They're nice, I like them. They got great color. But they're hard to shuffle and uh, feel flimsy. <laughs> King of Swords. Okay. Yeah, you are the King of Swords, and there you are, first card. You're standing in your power. Not letting anybody get over on you. You'll talk, yeah. There's that intimate conversation, you know. King of Swords is a good conversationalist, but you can't pull the wool over his eyes. You know, he sees through bullshit. He's fair. He's warm-hearted, although he has a staunch appearance. Well, male or female. You know, there's no genders. Uh, yeah, he, he, he looks like he means business, but down inside he's got a, he's got a good heart. He's fair. He just doesn't let anybody get over on him. And he's p pretty immovable. You can't, can't push him off his throne. 
doesn't falter very often. Oh, yeah. Standing up against somebody who breadcrumbed you. Treated you very unfairly. They uh, didn't see your value. They put themselves above you. You're standing strong in your spirituality. You have a mindset, and you you stay there. And I think people look up to you for it too. Now, if you're religious, like a Christian, you probably you know you may go to church. You may be, uh, you know, deep into that. If you're spiritual, uh, you 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 cling, and you're very well connected. You know, you cling to your higher power. And you're connected, and I think people look up to you for that. People know that you're spiritual, or the you know, people around you that you associate with know that there's something you know different about you that you that you kind of stand out in your spiritualism or spirituality. Now, there's a difference between spiritualism and spirituality, right? Spiritualism is seances and communicating with the dead and all that. It's kind of a lower level of spirituality, really. More of a base level thing. I prefer not to go to that spiritual side, whatever. Spirituality, that's where it's at. Okay. All right. Yeah, you've been dealing with somebody who's rather immature, right? They were not on the same page as you at all. In fact, they're, they're, um, they might want to come back and apologize. That might be what this intimate conversation is about. This is a page of cups in reverse here. You've been dealing with a page of all things. And you're a king of swords over here. Yeah. Well, they might want to ap apologize, but you're going to find that it's mm, something's fishy. He's even got a fish in his cup. He might want to flirt, or she might want to flirt, but, but whatever they're going to do, it's going to be kind of lighthearted. You're not going to think it's enough. You're going to think that, uh, you know, they're still not on my page. Uh, they're not giving me enough. You know, this is, yeah. You're not really into it. You You feel like you're above them. In your thinking, maybe your morals. Okay. Uh, you've been doing some healing. You need to heal. Okay. If you haven't healed, you need to. This person threw you way out of balance. Made, made you maybe even doubt yourself. Maybe even doubt your higher power. Yeah. This person threw you way out of kilter. They treated you like... Uh, you didn't matter that much. And they only gave you enough to keep you hanging on. This person's a teaser. Page of Cups in reverse over here. You might have blamed the universe for the bad luck you were going through, but I don't think so. I think you held strong to your... Uh, if you do did blame the universe or doubt your, your creator... Um, then that was only momentarily because it looks like here with a hierophant right side up, you were, uh, you're steadfast in your spirituality. Okay. They, yeah, you were stuck. This person had, I think, under control. I think they were controlling you. As immature as their energy is or was, they had you under some kind of control, and they made you, your whole world stop. You felt stuck because there was no, it got to a certain point, and there was no more forward movement in the relationship. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. All right. You are heading in a better direction now. 
you've been really troubled, you've been upset, a lot of crazy emotion, emotional energy, but you're headed for calmer waters. You got the Six of Swords. You might still be taking a little pain with you. It's going to take a while to heal, which I hope you're healing or trying to heal. Uh, but you're, and I think it's because that card fell right on top of the Hierophant. I think it has to do with your faith, your spirituality, what you believe in. That's that's making you feel better, and it's leading into, into a calmer and uh, better direction. Where it's, life's going to get a little easier for you. Yeah. This person feels like they made an investment in you. Mm -hmm. That might be part of their codependence on you. They, and, they're, and they're using other excuses like, you know, they invested money or time or their emotions or whatever they invested in you. And now they're looking at it as, as a loss, a failure. They thought they had you in control. They had you where they wanted, they wanted you. I guess they just didn't realize that you were the king of swords. They, were, they didn't realize that, I don't think. I, I don't think that they really held to the fact that you were, you know, into your spirituality as much as you are either. Because this person probably had this immature energy and they weren't concerned with things like that. This person was concerned about having fun, entertaining their, themselves in some fashion. And now they're upset because whatever they've invested, whatever they feel like they've put into you, that's a loss. And they're not, that's something that they're not, you know, happy about uh, having happened to them. They lost control. And they lost some sort of investment that they think they put into you. Which may be important to them. I don't know. Looks like it is. Money is important to this person. If you used to support this person or you gave them money or anything like that, yeah, they lost that. They're not getting that anymore. And that, that's not happy about it. They're not happy about that. So... The conflict is over. Although there was uh, some competition, there was uh, gaslighting, and especially mind games. Okay, that's the one I was really looking for. Mind games here. That's coming to an end with you. You're not do you're not dealing with that anymore because all that mind games and all that bullshit it just makes you sick. It makes you really feel horrible. You're not into it. You're not going to do it anymore. That's why you're standing in your power now and you're going, you've had enough. You're always curious. You're always fair. I think you'd talk to the person if they want to talk to you. But you're not, you're just not having it anymore. Whatever they're dishing out, you're not having it. There could even been too many people involved with all their input. It was, uh, you know, self-serving you know when other people give you advice always take it with a grain of salt because you never know where that advice is coming from they may not even know it but there's always an underlying reason why someone gives you advice Some, you know sometimes it's a uh, it's okay. Sometimes they're perfectly on the level, but there's always that big chance that, you know, their advice is self-serving to them in some manner. So you just, when people give you advice, just try and figure out, hmm, is this coming from a good place? Okay. Yeah, this person's selfish. Has some bad traits, that's for sure. They may feel be feeling stuck themselves right now. Yeah. You might have turned the table on this person. You might have shown them their 
selfish ways or express to them that they were selfish. I think money matters to this person. They, they may uh, covet money, actually. And I think you're the one, you have spent a lot of sleepless nights. I don't think you've been worrying so much about, well, there's some money around this. Some of you may have some money problems yourself, but I think a lot of it's just had to do with stress. You've been stressed out. You've been stressed and you really are looking for a calmer, more peaceful existence, but it looks like you're going there because this Six of Swords is in the upright position. Yeah, you've been fretting. Fretting about all this. You might even feel, like I say, a little ill. Like stomach problems. So. Okay, well, this page of cups, they they were non-committal. They may have led you to believe that you were going to have a, a committed future with this person, but they were not committal and possibly in a third party. Uh, they look up to you, though, but they could have uh, gave you some false comp compliments. This person might compliment people because they know how to make people feel good. Compliments always boost people's ego. And this, this person might have complimented you, pumped up your ego, made you feel pretty good about yourself at one time. And they also, you know, I think they're quite dependent on you emotionally or money-wise or in some way that they feel like they're, they're losing out on some big benefit with you that they could have had. Okay. tighter okay well you did have a blowout of some sort with this person somebody walked away arrogantly <clears throat> I think this person made you cry you have a deep night of <clears throat> dark excuse me dark night of the soul card here so yeah, I think this was very rough on you. And they were arrogant and cruel, uh, could have been almost cruel in their, the way they handled it. Yeah, this person has made some sort of decision. They've been battling with a decision for a long time. And uh, they're wondering... You know, if this was the right thing to do, have this big blowout. And they're they're they've been wondering and wondering what kind of decision, what they're gonna what's gonna happen, but I think they've made a decision of some sort. Maybe we can find out. Well you yeah, there's two cards here that looks like you did find out or that they were in a third party or they were dealing with somebody else. At least you thought they were. You're pretty sure they were. And then that made you feel really bad and abandoned. <clears throat> if you'd have been a little stronger, maybe a little earlier or whatever, you, you could have avoided this situation. But as it were, it, it kind of left you out in the cold, feeling, feeling abandoned. And a lot of you might have just started focusing on your work, mm -hmm. your craft, whatever you do well. It looks like you started to uh, even get better, prolificate at, at your craft. I think you might have, a lot of you might have focused, focused on work after you had this this blowout and this crushing
crushing event. Okay. Wow. This person had to hermitize for a bit. Yeah, they, uh, they've had a lot of thinking to do. I think after they, you know, detached themselves from people around them and stuff and, and took some time out, that they might have come up with, made a decision. Like I say, they've made some kind of decision, but it took a lot of thinking for them to do that. Jack, don't start barking on me now. Come on in here. Maybe I'll put you on the show. Jack got up here and got seen once. He liked it, actually. We got a lot of comments about him. I might do that again. Not today, though. Um, I think this person... Well, this is kind of like last reading, where the where the this person know knows that they're messed up, knows that they have issues, knows that they're toxic, or they know something's wrong. And that's the conclusion. When this person went into a hermit mode to figure things out, to work on this, I think they figured out that uh, you know they have energy like the Knight of Wands. They're erratic. I think they figured out that uh, some of their issues and they want to come rushing in and, and tell you what they've figured out. Uh, they want to tell you a little bit about themselves. Now they still let me playing the victim here. This person's energy, like I say, could actually make you kind of physically ill. The Knight of Swords is an erratic energy. It's, it's all over the place. And they might tell you that they're, they figured out that they can't be like that anymore. They don't want to be like that anymore. They're going to settle down. Uh, but they're excited to, to tell you whatever they figured out. Now, I'm not saying it's going to be the truth. No. I'm not so saying that they went into hermit mode and they saw the light and were healed and, and uh, you know, became spiritual or whatever. They, <sighs> we don't know yet. Let's, let's take a peek. Some more cards. We'll dig this one out. You walked away. Yeah, you. It looks looks like you were slipping and maybe into some depression, not feeling well. The whole thing was got you in a great amount of torment, and so you knew that the only the only possible way that you could uh, maybe see the sunlight again and get away from this darkness would be to move away. Even though I think you loved this person, or you were falling in love with them, you had to leave that love behind. You were hurt. You were hurt, and you went in the direction of your work, a lot of you. Not all of you, but those of you who have a craft and who work, I think you focused on that. Because you saw that you had to work now. Uh, if this person had money, or you had plans of sharing money and combining your wealth and you know, getting along well, uh, having the Ace of Pentacles together. No, that's in reverse. Looks like here you're having to work now solely to support yourself. If that ha if that's not the case all along, you might have always been supporting yourself, you know, for quite some time. But you had plans that if you get with this person and vice versa, that you that you could really grow and and you know be really abundant together. You don't see that now. You're just depending on yourself now. Yeah, this person's ashamed, embarrassed, and they feel like a loser. Yeah, that's what they're, that's what, 
you know, when they were in their hermit mode, that's what they were thinking about. I'm a loser. I, look what I did. Nobody likes me anymore. Uh, in fact, and I've said this before, this person may be losing friends. They may not be as admired as they used to be. They may have shown their two colors in several occasions where people have seen the real them, or they could be losing their looks. Uh, people just aren't into them like they used to be, or they don't feel like people are, are as into them. They're feeling bad right now. They're not getting any glory. They're not getting much attention like they used to. Oh, they're going to come in, and they're, they figured something out already. This is what they figured out, that their heart is broken, that they're in terrible emotional pain. That might be what the intimate conversation is about. They got a three of swords. They want to rush in and tell you about their pain, their agony. Maybe you didn't do it. Maybe it happened to them in the past. Maybe they want to tell you how they've been broken, how they, you know, and they figure this stuff out about themselves and their youth and their, their love life and all their history of everything. They might want to come in and tell you how they've had their heart broken. Or and they might tell you that you broke their heart. But this person, it seems like they've come up with this idea. Like, they thought about it long enough. I feel, I don't, and because this person's a page of cuts in reverse, I don't feel this is sincere. I think this person lives in kind of a fantastical, fantasizing type world, and they may even believe the stuff that they come up with. This person could very well be very emotionally in pain right now. Over their whole life, and you're like the catalyst of it now. I mean, like, you might have handed this person their karma or, may, or made them see the light in some fashion. Because they're over here trying to figure it out. I just don't think like they're figuring it out honestly. But, but then I get the vibe that they think they're being honest. Like, like they... They've developed some sort of fantasy in their mind because they're codependent and everything, and they kind of believe it. They believe this fantasy. And it's actually breaking their heart that this fantasy hasn't evolved into reality. And you might be thinking over here, man, this person is confusing the hell out of me. <laughs> yeah. You got the seven of cups in reverse over here, and you're like, you got, you got so confused and weirded out over this person because they were painting stories or illusions that you had to walk. You had to uh, do the eight of cups here, and you just couldn't take it any longer. They had you confused. You didn't know what was going on, you just, and and it was just like too much for you because this person. That's it. They don't have rational thinking. That's it. They don't think rational. Yeah. You had really high hopes. You had high hopes with this person. You were going to be abundant, right? You were going to create together. You would maybe work together here, but now you're working, doing your own thing. And you, you know that, you know, it's not going to happen with this person. You're not going to work with them. Your ships are going to come in. They are. You're going to see some abundance, but it's like on your own, for now anyway. Not with this person. Unless things change around. It's almost as if you, this person needs therapy, and you need, or, or you'd have to be like some kind of a, a therapist in order to deal with them. I don't know. You know, I get way outside the box sometimes on these readings. I maybe exaggerate, get a little overblown, but they're cards that I'm taking the meanings off of them, you know. Not everybody's situation is as serious or as dire 
as I sometimes read the cards. But if you resonate with it, hey, it's your story then. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think this is a romantic relationship anymore between you and this person. It's become more of a therapy session for you, or for them. It's as if, wow, it, this is as if they need you in their life for some sort of mental stability. More so than a romantic relationship at this point. Or they need you, you know, to keep them grounded or... Anyway, they're codependent, that's for sure. Oh, they might tell you that they're healing so that they can come back to you. That Maybe that's what's happening over here. They have a broken heart. Maybe they're going to express to you, or they already have, that they've been hurt in the past. And now you've hurt them. The whole thing is painful, but they want to... They, they're tired of holding it in. They want to come rushing in like the Knight of, uh, Knight of Swords here and just let you know what's going on in their life now. And I think they're going to tell you that they're trying to heal. And if they can and they can feel better, then they can come back to you or whatever. I don't know how you feel about that. I don't see your feelings here nearly as strong as they used to be because this person put you through pain and they deceived you. So, like I say, you might be looking at them more like a medical case of some sort. Yeah. Now, somebody's wanting you, but they just don't know how it could work. It's a situation thing here. This might be the new person. I wish it said. I wish it was. Ah, someone will be back. This person is trying to figure out. They want you, but they're trying to figure out how they can make it work. They don't know how to make it work. But someone will be back, and the word back means an ex, right? Or someone that you've already dealt with. So, this person's coming back. They're codependent. They're clingy. And they feel like they really need you in their life to keep them grounded or just balanced. I think they're lost. I think they're out on a limb just blowing in the wind right now. Just They need a lifeline. That's what it looks like. Now, they used to keep a lot of options, and they still might have some options out there. But these people are falling by the wayside. They don't have as many options as they used to. In fact, I don't even know if they have as many friends as they used to have. But they're used to keeping a lot of options, and uh, that's because of their childlike nature. And uh, you were one of them until they realized that... Uh, you were really special to them in their life. That's what it looks like. You made it clear to them how you felt. I'm, I'm over here, yeah, there, there was a, you know, an argument, a quarrel, some sort of altercation, and it was painful to you. They were arrogant. They made you cry. But you made it clear to them, either during that or afterwards, how you felt. And I don't. Yeah. And then you just uh, decided you weren't putting up with any of it anymore. Yeah, because they betrayed you. Even though that you were a blessing, and they didn't realize it, that you. You could have done great things. You, you guys could have had a great relationship if they had have been well balanced and a normal person. Okay, but this person lives in fantasy, la la land. It looks like, uh, but 
They betrayed you. Then they lied to you. You were like a blessing in disguise. They didn't see it. They just didn't see you the way that you really were, really are, because they don't have that kind of depth. Not in that kind of immature energy. Yeah, yeah, I, I should have just said this earlier. The love, what you had, the love that what you felt was love, now it's kind of changed to pity. You don't hate the person, but you see them in a different light. And you you kind of, you know, you see them as kind of pitiful now and, and uh, mixed up and uh, directionless. And so you, you, you kind of feel pity for the part, person now. You, you're concerned for them. You know, you're empathetic, so, you know, you... you you really don't like to see anybody in pain or, or hurt in any way. Oh, now a lot of you who feel like you've had all these obstacles and blocks and everything, those are going to be lifted. Your path is going to be clear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got the. Six of Swords up here in, in the upright. Yeah. You've got good karma, but it's important to show gratitude. Show gratitude. Give thanksgiving to the universe, whatever your higher power is, because when you show gratitude and thanks, you know, it... It's a positive thing. And then positive things will happen to you. Give out positivity, positivity will come back. Same same with negativity. Wow. Okay, well, things are, are, are getting better for you. Smoothing out. Yeah, because it's time for a change. It's time right now for a change. So it looks like that's the direction you're going to be headed in, in or you should you should accept change. Okay, no, I've said this before too. This new person that likes you that probably at work most likely um or wherever you do your thing. They've got some baggage too. So you've both got to bring some baggage to the table. Due to ex relationships, that might be something that you can, you know, talk about with each other and uh, be on the same page. Yeah, a lot of you want to move ahead. You know it's time for a change, but you're not quite sure how to do it. You just don't have all the, the questions answered. You, you don't have all your facts straight, and there could be a little anxiousness or fear involved, too. You're always anxious. There's always a little fear involved when you when something changes. It's just life. A lot of you don't like your job anymore. You feel really burdened. You feel like quitting your job, doing something else. This person that may work with you, they might feel like they want to quit their job too. And the past person, they really think they can change. They have this they feel like they understand themselves now. They they know where they went wrong. Uh, they broke their heart. They want to heal. And they can change. That's what they think. Now, you would know about this person more than, than I would. So, if you think they can change, maybe they can. If you think they can't, then, then you, you know better, right? 
you know the truth. But something is about to unfold in your life. And I think it has something to do with this long-awaited truth being exposed. You're going to find out something. And it's within a conversation. Yeah, anyway, this conversation is going to uh, reveal something. Something important. Something that's going to change your emotional state of mind, I think. And... Yeah, you should be focused on self-love right now. One thing I can tell you is this person really um, wishes that they had chosen you. Yeah, They're feeling foolish, embarrassed, eh? like a real loser because they just weren't as smart as they thought they were. You know, they were superficial and immature energy. But boy, they're thinking twice now. They need you. They actually need you for stability. Like I said uh, earlier, this person, it might be their modus operandi that they need other people or they've grown accustomed to be codependent on, codependent on others for their own happiness. Like they can't stand to be alone or something like that. Anyway, we'll look at this some more next time. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Until then, peace and love to you.